all the fences are memories. All the fences are memories. I'm just letting you register that, right? All the fences are memories. If the patient detaches from you, the patient oftentimes is showing you how someone detached from them. If a patient attacks herself, she's oftentimes showing you how she was attacked. Or she's showing you how she learned to attack herself in order to maintain a connection. If a patient projects and splits, oftentimes the patient is showing you how she grew up in a home where there was splitting and, and projection. So keep in mind, the defense is always a memory of adaptation. Every defense is a way of relating to you. And every defense in a way is an enactment of a kind of relationship with you. The defense is always a memory of adaptation. So that's why, for instance, in isolation of affect, if the patient takes a detached stance, we'll say, notice how you put up this wall, the detachment, and then we would have the same distant relationship here that you have with your wife and that you had with your father. So can we see what feelings are coming up here toward me? You're beginning to address the way the patient is enacting a past relationship with you. The so patient learned I should attack myself and then my mother will calm down. So when the, instead, when the patient goes self-attack, we'll say, oh, could that thought be hurting you? Could that thought be unfair to you? Could we see what feelings are coming up here toward me if we look underneath those thoughts? Inviting feelings is actually inviting a new relationship. It's blocking an old enactment. And that enactment through using defenses is going to cause patient symptoms. If you ignore your anxiety, then that, that would prevent us from being able to regulate. It. Well, yeah, but I don't want to look at it. Right. Well, if you don't look at your anxiety and I don't look at your anxiety, then, then what kind of relationship would we have if, if we both ignore you? She's inviting you to do that. She's inviting an enactment. That's where we have to keep our attention. So given that you're inviting me to hurt you, can we see what feelings are coming up here toward me? These defenses are always enacting past relationship. And so we're having to think about how do we bring that to patient's attention? And how do we make sure that our interventions are offering a new relationship rather than repeating the old relationship? All defenses are memories. The defense is always a memory of adaptation. Every defense is a way of relating to you. And every defense in a way is an enactment of a kind of relationship with you. Offering a new relationship rather than repeating the old relationship.